Good morning, amigos. I'm Lauren Duenas. I'm Mr. Lauren Shinega. And we're sending it for G. E. N. Look at my Mona Lisa, G. The, uh, that, that's a stick figure. Yeah, well, you're a stick figure. Yeah. Well, I, uh, let's go check out real art that happened at the art show yeah. last Thursday. Stick figure. The new Da Vinci's are in town. Every year, the art classes of DHSHS present a collection of artwork created by the students of Miss Ayal, Miss Lochne, and Miss Earhart's art classes. And on Thursday, March 30th, a cumulative collection was put together to present at aperture conferences. Various different art styles were presented at the art show, including mirrored images, 3D models, and other abstract pieces. Sixth grader Nadia Rodriguez, who goes to Painted Hills Middle School, enjoys what art does to help people. I think art's important because there's people who like to draw and paint because it could be like an expressive outlet for them. On one end are those learning how to draw, but on the other end are those teaching the students how to draw. Art teacher Celeste Earhart teaches art to help students learn how to do more than just draw. I think art is important because not only is creativity a necessary skill for the job force today, but it's also important because it teaches kids to express themselves, it gives them an outlet for their feelings, and it, you know, it helps them to develop their confidence and develop patience. There's a lot of great qualities that come from learning the arts. Art is a creative way for individuals to express themselves through the means of visual illustration. The art pieces shown here are created by students in art classes, so if you'd like to be a part of a showcase like this, join Art Next Year. I'm Adrian Pacheco reporting for GEN. Lights, camera, action. On Wednesday, March 29th, a band of students interested in filmmaking attended a filmmaking symposium hosted by Digicom at the Palm Springs Camelot Theater. Students took part to view three low-budget films that were brought together thanks to Project Involve. Freshman John Terry is part of Black Voices Rising and was present to this event. My favorite was They Charged for the Sun. The reason why is because it really sends a message how they charge for water and it's a natural resource. I don't think that they should do that. And soon they'll take advantage of it. 11 schools came to the symposium and not only did they get the chance to watch three movies, they also got the chance to talk to all the directors of the films. Filmmaker Marvin Lemus was given the chance to direct and feature his short film at the symposium. We had the house location, we had it for one day. Like one of the most important parts of the film was all these flashbacks, seeing the girlfriend alive for the first time in the whole film. And we ended up having to do it in like 15 minutes because we were running over. The owner of the house is back. He's like, you guys are supposed to be out of here by now. My producers are out there trying to like hold them up. Students got to see and understand what filmmaking consisted of thanks to the directors, producers, and screenwriters. I'm Adrian Franco reporting for GEN. you wanted the letter B. You heard right. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna bid more money so I get the letter B. There ain't nothing you can do to stop me. Well, you know what? I bid 25. I bid 30. I bid 75. I bid 100. I bid 125. Fine, you can have it. I don't got that kind of money anyways. Join your book down at the Commons during lunch today to bid on a letter of your choosing. Bidding starts at $2 and can go on until there is only one winner. Winners are able to choose the naming of the letter and a picture that goes along with it. Hope to see you there! Join Ukulele Club. They meet every Thursday in the band room during lunch. Let the words move you. This year's spoken word occurred on March 30th in the theater. Twelve poets performed, one from Rancho Mirage High School and eleven from Desert Hot Springs High School. Damaris Famber, one of the four winners of the night, felt good getting positive feedback from her peers and enjoyed sharing what she had to say.
I just liked to write stories before, and poetry was kind of a new thing for me, and it was just things that happened in my life. Writing down your issues instead of maybe just talking them out if you're not good at talking them out is a big help. There were many different kinds of poetry tonight, and each one came from certain interests and feelings. Whether it's comedy, to a love poem, to politics, they each had a meaning behind them. Ashley Montiel has been writing poetry since she was in elementary school and believes getting your voice out there is powerful. Whenever there's days where um, I'm not doing anything, I just grab a pencil and a paper and I start writing and whatever comes out of my mind, I um, write it and get inspired. It felt wonderful. It was a great experience and I felt like I could express myself and it was awesome to talk about the issues regarding like countries and refugees and immigrants. The four winners were David Negaret, Nate Dela Cruz, Damaris Fambert, and Ashley Montiel. If you didn't come to this year's spoken word poetry, be sure to come next year. I'm Emily Means reporting for G. Send me, send me, send me, send me, send me. Oh! You suck. Yeah, I kind of do. But you know who doesn't suck? Who? Our senior boys last you week. You know who does? The sophomores. They didn't join Buff Ball. Well, our senior boys are pretty good last week in the Buff Ball tournament, so let's just check that out. Serve up and spike up. The annual Buff Ball tournament took part on March 10th here in our home gym. Due to a lack of participation, the sophomore and freshman teams were combined, making for only three teams this year. Nonetheless, the tournament continued on and the juniors beat the sophomore freshman team 2-0 and the seniors beat the juniors 2-1, making the senior class of 2017 victorious for the second year in a row. Junior Alfredo Orozco gives credit where it's due and appreciated the seniors' efforts to win the game. I feel like we had it and then like, because we won the first game, and then, I don't know, we were, we were close, but it all came out to the end and we lost. I think I'm going to play next year and we're going to take that W. Because I like, I like playing, it's pretty fun. The senior class then went up against our very own Lady Eagles volleyball team for winning the tournament, but unfortunately lost the game 2-0. Senior Zeus Rico has been a part of the football team since his sophomore year. Today was really intense and the juniors came out. They almost beat us, they beat us the first round and then we came back one the other two. It's fun, like, you don't get to play volleyball, guys volleyball here. And this is a unique opportunity for those people that are actually interested in volleyball. And it's just fun. That's a wrap for this year's football tournament. For those that are interested in this and would like to be a part of it, be sure to join next year. I'm Pablo Monero reporting for G-E-N. Strike! Our Golden Eagles baseball team went against Coachella Valley on March 29th, but unfortunately took a loss of the score being the 7-5. Number 6, Damon Cruz sees improvements to be made in both defense and batting. We did pretty good. You know, we came out. Our pitchers, they pitched. They came in. They did what they had to. Score, 7-5. I mean, I feel it shouldn't have been 7. We just let a couple runs go by in the first inning. When I'm batting, depending on how fast or what the pitcher throws, I'm just trying to build confidence. This loss puts your Golden Eagles at league overall 1-4, putting them behind Coachella Valley. Junior Eduardo Ceseña fought the nerve stepping up to bat and only one goal set on his mind. I felt confident. I thought we were going to win, but we didn't. It made me feel motivated, and then I struck out. Every time I go up to bat, I feel, I feel like I should hit a dinger. Make sure you wish your Golden Eagles baseball team good luck in their next home game against Coachella Valley once again. I'm Yesenia Rodriguez reporting for G.E.N. Was that the bell? We're gonna be late. Let's go! Wait for me! Where is everyone? Don't be like us and don't come to school during spring break. Spring break is April 10th to April 24th. Have a great break and stay safe. Well, this has been it for your weekly broadcast. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. At Golden Eagle Network. I'm Nora Duenas. I'm Mr. Marcinega. And uh, we're signing out for G-E-N. Have fun at your spring break. Oh yeah, spring break.